Yo, <clears throat> what's up, everybody? How are ya? Oh, we're doing a sponsored stream today. <clears throat> sponsored by Piranha Games, Mech Warrior Five. Oh, Mech Warrior Five, dudes. Hopefully, it's uh, the bee's knees. Hopefully, it's the bee's knees. Ah. Thank you for, for joining me. Appreciate it very, very much. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if I can wrap my head around this game. Do, 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 do. Everyday Idiot, what's up? Neutronics and Better Dreams. Kid Daltys. Kid Vets. What's going on? Do, 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 do. So that'll be good. This ought to be good. I don't have a joystick, but then again, who has a joystick? <laughs> who has a joystick nowadays? I think I have a joystick, but it's like from 1995. I don't think it's compatible. What kind of game is this? This is the kind of game where you run around in a giant robot suit and uh, trample on buildings and um, try to protect the farm. Protect the farm! As you proceed to just crush the farm. As you proceed to just like walk all over the farm. We'll see. We'll see what it's we'll see what it's all about. Thank you, Piranha Games, for sponsoring this broadcast. I do appreciate that very, very much. My sponsored portion is like a two-hour thing with this game, but I think I'm just gonna play a lot more of it because I feel like I'm gonna enjoy it. BattleTech was like uh, a, a huge, huge favorite of mine. Love BattleTech, so I think I might be able to wrap my head around this game um, a bit easier because I have played so much BattleTech. Though this is like an action. <laughs> Not the farm! This is this is this is very much very much an action uh, game. So it's not a, it's not like a real time strategy. It's not like an RTS like um X Kami like like Battletech is. This is more of just like you're in your own thing and you go out and do the stuff. Your body turns, your your legs turn differently. Things like that. I did practice a tiny bit uh, because in the in the email that they sent me, they were like, "You need to practice this game. You can't be going into this thing blind." Which we are going in pretty blind, but uh, I did practice a tiny bit just because they they told me I needed to. <laughs> Colin, what's up, man? Hey, hey. Oh, you know what I watched last night? I watched that Brad Pitt space movie, Ad Astra or something. Ad Astra, where he goes to where he goes to um, where he goes to Neptune. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Good to see you, Colin. Those ex commies, man. But uh, I don't have any any really uh, real announcements except for that we will be playing. If anybody in here plays Warframe, if you if you guys still play Warframe, um, I'm gonna need some carries. I'm gonna need some hard carries. <laughs> Louis, what's up, dude? Thank you for the host. I'm gonna need some hard MF and carries coming up pretty soon for uh, for Warframe. Uh, I have two sponsored broadcasts for Warframe, both being four hours each. So we're at least going to be playing eight hours of Warframe coming up um, this weekend. I think it's this weekend to, to get to get uh, prepared for Railjack or something like that. Sort of new content. Um, so luckily I was given a ton of Warframes. I was given a ton of suits from uh, from all you guys. 
so I'm, I, 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 I should be I should be good to go. But I need somebody there to hold my hands like I'm a baby, like I'm a little baby boy. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Boom, 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 Mech Warrior 5, sponsored by Piranha Games. And here we go. Uh, Warframe, Warframe is like a multiplayer game. It's, it's like pseudo MMO. It's free, but, the, but, but, but Warframe is not why we're here. <laughs> I, I should, I should say why we're here is because this game launches today. It has launched. It's available on the Epic Game Store. It's got a $50 price tag. It's got a $60 deluxe edition. Pick it up. <laughs> do, 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 do. We're going to get into this. Today, Junior. You want some of this milk? All right. Boom. Turn that thing down. Let's let's get this thing going here. <laughs> they paid me to say that. They did pay me. <laughs> they did indeed. Well, they haven't paid me yet. So let's do a good job. New campaign. Let's do it. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Nice. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. I know this guy. <laughs> During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise, Comes a great fall. Oh, Beset God. by greed and the mouse humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slow. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of I don't this guy is. as the succession wars. But I want him. Amidst this chaos, and it's mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses <laughs> numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere dominated by hulking war machines known as battle max what the battle year is now 3015 and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries trade sweet mother of god it's a lucrative time yet one beset with perils of all kinds only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. Wow. That's me. I'm going to become legend, I guess. Lieutenant Dan, what's up, man? What's going on? What's, what's good? What's good? What's good with you? Well, that guy's jumping with lasers. I want to be that guy. <clears throat> So we're going to do some campaign stuff. Apparently, this game has up to four-player cooperation mode. You can do up to four-player cooperation modes. I do remember this scene takes a little bit to load in. But for the remainder of the game, there's really hardly, there's hardly any, uh, not remainder of the game, the 20 minutes that I played, there really wasn't many many loads the music in this game is pretty great you saw angry joe playing it nice i'm pretty excited about it dude i'm pretty excited i'm always i'm always really stoked to get uh, these paid promotions where um i'm like excited like really genuinely excited to play the game because who doesn't like gigantic battle max dude battle tech was such a sweet ass game i haven't played i don't think i've played any mech warriors and this is five not only is this Mech Warrior 5, but it's Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. I'm not sure if that's in, that has any bearing or anything. I'm not sure if that matters. <clears throat> I want to get some long I want to get some LRMs. And I want to get a PPC. I want to get a big ass laser PPC. It does look hard, but I'm sure you got this. Yeah, I bet it is going to be really tough. Most of the most most giant robot walking around games are pretty tough. <coughs> Usually, pretty pretty rough, dude. I just hope it's not too tough on uh, on Sarah's um, poor little laptop. Plasma rifle in the forty watt range. <laughs> 
the PPC, I remember in, um, or is it P P PCC? PCC? I think it's PCC. It's like a gigantic long-range laser beam. <clears throat> What's up? Greatest Journey, how are you, dude? We're going to blast through this tutorial. I did the tutorial off stream to make sure that I, I knew how to play the game first. Because that's what the developers recommended me to do. <clears throat> PCP! <laughs> it's a PCP cannon. It's making them stronger. It's making them brave. Oh, man, Breezy. <laughs> is this on the mouse and button board? This is on the mouse and button board, yeah. I'm playing this with a mouse and button board right now. I made my own button board. Crafted it myself. Dear God. Commander Mason, please report to the hangar for testing. The Centurion is waiting for you. For testing. Oh yeah, here we go. Old man breezy. I have a feeling there is going to be a shit ton of weapons and upgradable parts, dude. Everybody's waiting, buddy. Everybody's waiting on me? Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's like a there's like a foot a walking around part too, I guess. We get to walk around. This is my girl right here, huh? This is my bae. With my lady chicken. Don't mention the lady chicken. I have a feeling it's going to be way cooler than Pacific Rim. <laughs> then again, stepping in a pile of shit is better than Pacific Rim. After we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises, though, eh? No promises, though, I. He's joking, I think. Go on and power her up. Reactor online. Good. Sensor. There's a lot of buttons. What I know that. There's quite a few now. buttons that you need to remember. Okay. Armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Everything looks good to go. Look at this console, though. I can imagine this is what, like, this is what uh, Co Carnage's stream setup looks like. He's got like two chats on each side. Just drives himself in. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Colin, thank you for We're gifting go, a sub right? over to Vermeer. She's a beauty, isn't she? Thank you so much. Certainly is. Certainly. Okay. Engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Okay, Use I'm, your tactical I'm engaging. Display to I'm engaging. See where you're I'm going. engaging. Nice work. Thanks. Now revert to your drone cam. Yes. Let's go ahead and do a left right rotation test. Let's do that. Press A, press D. Okay, now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Colin. Use the mouse to look around. I'm doing this. Okay, very good. Let's look around. Good. That was As pretty good. See, the torso I'm already super good at this game. From the legs. Your direction Enhance. Your movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tax screen... You can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line. Right. And your torso orientation is represented by the cone. The cone. Go ahead and try auto aligning the torso with your legs. Center torso over leg. Excellent. Now move your torso to the left or right. Mm -hmm. And try aligning your legs with the torso this time. Looking good. Right. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. Let's do it, dude. Oh, I went too. I'm. I'm I went too fast. I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta go around. 
Part-time ghost, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome back for 11 months, my friends. Thank you so very, very much. Here we go, here we go. Go, 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 I find that F is like the best one to, to use. Sorry, 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 sorry. You can never get into the, uh, I forgot to comment on that. You can, you can never get into these games because they make the mechs look look too much like uh, like anime anime stuff. I don't know, I think they do a pretty good job, man. I think they've done a pretty good job here. Nice work. The Centurion was made to have a good too balance anime. between speed and firepower. This is my first All sponsored stream. This is probably like my 50th work. sponsored stream, maybe? Boy, what do you mean if the weapons work? You know how long I spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? It's not you anime know, enough. Oh, oh okay, right. Grace, okay. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. It's not, it's not, you it's know, not like, um, it's not age. like, uh, the I was Evangelion enough. Javelin. Oh, man, was he pissed. Captain Nissen. Yeah. Dude, I would love Go to play this game now. with the joystick. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. I haven't played a joystick since I, since I used to play, uh, Doom 2 Deathmatch with a joystick, dude. How's the kid faring? I used to crush it. He's a natural, just like his old man. I see humility is still in short supply. Humility? Sure. Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. Yeah, I've probably done like over 50 sponsored streams in my day. Maybe, maybe more? Maybe less. Systems are now online, gents. Be gentle, hey. Hey. Always, my friend. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a lot of bollocks, innit? Titanfall. <laughs> Two is right. your favorite mech game. I've never played Titanfall before. Weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Always remember to manage your reserves. You run out of shells in the middle of a firefight, it could be your last one. <laughs> Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. Two. All right, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor structure display. In it. <clears throat> All weapons generate heat when fired. Colin, thank you, you for gifting a sub to Engendo. And it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Thank you, dude. for the fun stuff. Long-range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but <laughs> never mind that. Just Stay go ahead and fire at will. Frosty. Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Erp. Let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Target acquired. What the heck? Oh, there he is. Makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test <laughs> moving and yes, firing at the same time. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Have you? Move through the aerial very, very kind as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Whoa. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Just crushing through rock, dude. Hey, Greens, what's crack a lacking? It is like it is. It, it does feel pretty realistic, realisticy. If if I mean, not like I've ever driven a mech before, but 
like having to rotate your uh, the bottom half and the, and the top half. You gotta constantly be hitting like F to realign your uh, your 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 parts, your ports. Watch my parts. Watch my fanny. Watch my fanny now. Watch my fanny. As a real mech pilot, yeah. <laughs> you should listen to him. He's a smart guy. Listen to your friend Billy Zane. He's a smart guy. Put well, a cork in it, Zane. Now take up a position by the barricade. Okay, I've projected three mechs, each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. <laughs> hey, Greens, I'm only I'm going to war with the tutorial right now. Shot if you need to. But I'm doing pretty good. I'm probably like in the top three of best tutorial players in the world right now. Oh, is it? Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. Center torso destroyed. Oh, nope. You see that second mech? I do. Both legs are heavily damaged. Really? With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs? <laughs> It's over for them. Take out both legs. Take out both of those legs, you busy kid. Nicely done. The cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. Sweep it's the leg. It's a difficult yes, shot to make, especially in the chaos. Cobra Kai. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Is that right? Is to kill that Go son of a gun. shooting the cockpit. There you go. Hey. Now we're almost done. I'm a cold-blooded bastard. I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. Is this go head to head with an urban mech. Sorry. Slow and poorly armed. Sorry about that. That's Perfect for this particular I wasn't test. part of it. Should be a piece of cake for a pilot like you. Sorry about that. That was like that was like his summer home. Playing this with a joystick would be pretty sweet, dude. Ooh, look at me just crushing these rocks, bro. To crush your enemies. See them driven before you. Hear the lamentation of the women. Whoa. Thanks. I think we can call it a day. The Centurion seems fully fit and ready for battle. Let's head back. Let's go ahead and take off here. Let's head on back. Looks like you did the tutorial. Is that back? Or are you... Which way are you... Are you confused? Okay, he's confused. It's cool if I just walk through this building. It's gonna buff out. <coughs> That'll buff out. It's gonna buff out. Don't worry about that. When we get back to the base, we'll buy Fahad a few beers to say thanks. Hey, all right. Good, good, good. good, good. Yeah, of course we'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are <laughs> on his battle mechs. Mason. Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. That's true. That's true. Put it on my dad. Captain Mason, my sensors are showing multiple dropships inbound on our location. Oh, I didn't see I'm this coming. over a dozen bogies. Captain, I think we're under attack. No, we're not. Oh, yeah, we are. Come on, let's go. We need to get back to the base. <laughs> they look so, look at a derpy running around. Oh my god, it, it, it's the bad guy. It's the bad guy robots. Oh, look at the little guy. Oh, ho, ho. 
welcome back. Colin! Colin, thank you for gifting us some of the gray soul. I'm gonna try and draw them off. Thank you very much, dude. By yourself? We can fight them together. A very Merry Christmas. No. From what Rihanna says, there's too many of them. Don't worry, I'm just gonna distract them. I'll catch up with you. Now go. Now get. Go. Get out of here. Commander, the base is thank under you, heavy bombardment. I've ordered a full evac. You need to hurry. Hurry. Uh, yeah. Come yeah. here. Oh, he's got a scary voice. And your family is safe. We need some heat, man! I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? Is that really the way you want to play this? Seriously. Uh oh. She's got a Listen she's got a scary guy. European accent. It'd be a shame to have to kill your only son over what? A set of numbers. You've done your research, I see. But you're too late. Oh yeah, king crab, dude. That's what that thing is, a king crab. These things are bad to the bone. Yeah, orange, orange camouflage is if you find yourself in a, in a situation where you have to hide inside of a giant fruit bowl. What was that? It was just an orange. Wait a minute. Hey, you mother! He's getting all, he's getting all crusty. Sneaky doing orange Julius. I think this is actually the year 3015, Ship Studley. So this is a game is from way from the way future, from the way way future. Oh my! That was my papa. My papa went down. It was my pep pep. <laughs> I gotta speak to Rihanna. Ella, Ella, uh oh. Oh. Commander, sorry to wake you, but our citrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Okay. Commando. Yeah. Good to see you up. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality, but I worked with your father for a long time. Mm. He was a good man. Mm. Hell, he sacrificed his life to save ours. That's true. I don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. That is, if you'll have me. I will. You kidding me? Your family, Rihanna. Or as close as I have now. Your singer-songwriter, Rihanna. I'm gonna need you. Yes. I suspect you will. About Isitrep, it's not great news. Those bastards that came after us are in the process of setting up a blockade of the system. Which means we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks unless we do something about it. Mm. Who are these guys? Another mercenary outfit, by the looks Robots. of Robots. I don't know more than that at the moment. And these coordinates they were looking for? Not a clue, but we're going to find out. First things first, we need transport out of the system. That means a jump ship. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. 
Mm. The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Name is Spears. He has powerful connections. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. In the meantime, Fahad wants to see you. She's down not in big on talking with Centurion her hands. Repairs, I, I appreciate that. You. I'll let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. Copy that. We must find a cure for the facial paralysis. Hi. Hey, mate. Figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning. It's going to be a while before she's operational again. Means you're going to have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay 1 for now. She's a good girl. His, his forearms look like the surface of the moon. I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah. Heard that before. Anyways, you know the drill. Access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, eh? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> there are two ways to repair all damaged armor, structure, weapons, and equipment on a mech. The first is to repair mech button on the battle mech screen. The second way to edit loadouts. To click edit loadout on the second screen. You, on the next screen, you can click on the repair. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's, pretty, it's a lot like uh, battle tech. Both methods will ask you to confirm by starting the work order. The C bills will immediately uh, deduct it, be deducted from your funds. Okay. No, this method will repair any damaged weapons or equipment, but it will not remove or replace them if they're destroyed. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this little dude. And we can paint him too. And we can paint him too. Look at this. I think we're, I think we gotta go bubblegum. I think we gotta go bubblegum mech for show. It's bubblegum mech, bubblegum mech, bubblegum. I do like the bubblegum and baby blue. Oh yeah. Very good. What's this guy rocking? This guy's rocking an AC. 10. He's got the auto cannon. He's got the long range missile 10. He's got the medium laser beams. Okay. He's pretty busted up. Repair. Yeah. Start that repair. What's up, Busta Farts? How are you, dude? Hi there. No, that's what I'm talking about. The bubble gum, the bubble gum mech. Hey, Commander. Hi. I've received a transmission from Spears in response to my request for help. Take a listen. Rihanna, I received your message. I'm sorry to hear about Nikolai. He was a good man. <laughs> An even better pilot, he'll be... I love it, Spear's voice. ...sorely missed. I assume his son will be taking over the operation. Nikolai was always bragging about the boy's skills. Well, mm -hmm. I hope he was right. Mm -hmm. I've begun working on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system. But it's going to take a little time. It's I expect in the you already in the computer. know by now that whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system, though, so we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive this, I want you to proceed to the outermost planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Now, I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache. He didn't ask for, for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs. And I expect you'll find what you need at that location. I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now, be safe. Mm. All right, time to suit up, Commander. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood. 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 Okie dokes. Smash and grab. Um, smash and grab, glitch reward 50 thou. Tar is an abandoned power plant. We know the raiders have been using the area as a secret cache for whatever goods they managed to pilfer from the various mining outfits. 
With a little luck, we'll be able to recover enough material to finish the repairs on the Leopard and Centurion. Oh, the Leopard and Centurion. I like that. Contracts tab. Shows your description, right? The, the tonnage limits. It's very much like uh, Battletech. I like it. It's very much like Battletech, which I, 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 I'm glad that I played a lot of that. Or else I'd be super lost. <clears throat> Before you accept a mission, you're given the opportunity to negotiate a contract. Begin every contract with a base number of negotiation points based on the reputation of your mercenary company. It's a fixed amount. Sea bill payout. Okay. Some of the base payout, sea bill payout, is added together. Total potential payout below. The more valuable the salvage, the more shares it will cost. Damage coverage is insurance that only pays out to cover the repair cost of damage suffered during this particular contract. Oh, my lord. Instead of instead of two hundred fifty thou, three hundred sixty five thou salvage shares. So that's 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 also like battle tech. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Except, <clears throat> infinite dreams. I did I did play I, I I did play a little bit of this. I did. I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked that it's it's uh it's quite similar to battle tech. I didn't feel I didn't feel so uh, so worried because uh, when I started messing around with it, I was like, oh shit. Uh, it's, it's got the same kind of stuff as Battletech. <clears throat> 2019 tech said 90s tech. Yeah. Where, like, in, in the, the 90s, the 90s tech, most of the, most of the, the, the mech warriors had, like, giant backwards, like, raiders caps. Giant backwards, like, Oakland A caps that they've turned backwards. Mm -hmm. And if you if you if you wore a necklace, you always wore it on the outside of your shirt as well. It was kind of the look. It might actually be J uh, Jensen's voice. He loves BattleTech and MechWarrior. Really, he was in BattleTech for that exact reason. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's kind of a cool little tidbit. I figured we probably we, we won't be able to or we won't need to pay for or do the insurance thing for this because um, it's just a little guy. We're just a little dude. So it's not going to cost much if we get banged up. Bam, bam. All right, ready. Launching in three. is located on the other side I got of jump the jets on this guy, don't I? You should oh, be yeah. able to make your way through the pass undetected. Copy that. Copy it's that. Come back. Get to the enemy that base. Chaplain you're piloting is lightly armed, Commander. But what it lacks in firepower and armor, it makes up in speed and mobility. Sure. Good try, Rihanna, but I'd still rather have the Centurion. <laughs> Good try. This is a real piece of well, shit. Can't blame a girl for trying. Exactly a piece of shit. I'm so undetected right now. The power station <clears throat> being used by these raiders is derelict, Commander. Suspense, but what's up, dudes? Perimeter defenses won't be. My guess, the raiders will have turrets stationed around the perimeter. If that's the case, it means they must have a generator close by. Find and destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, and you'll have a much easier time of it. Got it. Thanks. Ow. Heads up, Commander. I'm detecting enemy units up ahead. Could be a raider patrol. Copy.
Giant robot. Sorry, that's that's my bad. That's they have they've got insurance. They must have insurance. <clears throat> My arm is already like blasted off, dude. <laughs> Don't hate on my man. Suspense is good to see you, brother. Good joink. Target acquired. Target. Perfect. With the generator blown, the turret should be disabled now. Great. Oh, the range on those is pretty bad. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. 25 ton javelin is the worst tank. Yeah. This thing is a tinderbox. It's just ready to go up. Some long arms. Okay. There's a geothermal power plant up ahead. There's a number of storage buildings in and around the plant itself. I suspect that's where they're storing their loot. Their loot? Time to smash and grab, Commander. Time to Once loot it up, but oh. Storage crate, more keeper pickup, then move on to the next building. From my initial scans of the site, I've marked where I think the crates could be located. Mm -hmm. Look there first. Well, I've already. Lucky guess. <laughs> I've, already, I've already done this mission. <laughs> Yo! Jeez. <laughs> Lucky guess. <laughs> hey, they, t they told me to practice, man. They told me to practice. I had to do the first couple of missions because they were like, you're gonna suck, dude. You're gonna suck at this game. That arm is gone, dude. It's crushed. Though I did much better uh, before on this mission. I didn't get so banged up. Yay! Okay, got it. Keep looking. All right, that should do it. Go ahead and meet me at the exfiltration point. If you see anything worth blowing up on your way out, say a weapons depot or something. Oh, I want objects. You bet. <laughs> Understood. Boom! Just landed on that turd. Understood. I get it. If you find like a weapons depot or, you know, whatever. Excuse me. Far 
Pardon me. Criminy. Bottleneck him, bottleneck him. Body blow, body blow. There we go. Sorry, I forgot where I parked my car. Nicely done, Commander. That should teach them a lesson. Now get to the exfil point, and I'll pick you up. How is this game? You're on a fence back in it. Well, I'm. I've. I've just started. I've just started. Um, I don't know if you played uh, BattleTech or not, but it's. It's everything is like the same as BattleTech, except for it's 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 you know it's just actiony. It's not um, you know it's not like RTS or anything. So if you're into like the whole the whole like mech stuff, upgrading your stuff, it is way cool. Prodigy, thank you so very much for coming back for four months. What's happening? <laughs> Invented dreams, yeah. I lost my arm. Thank you so much, Prodigy. Appreciate that. Hey, look at that. Wow. Unknown. I'm almost I'm almost to unknown status. Imagine that. Machine gun SRM. I can never have too many medium lasers, I guess. Go with the auto cannon. Yeah. That's fine. Nice work, Commander. We were able to recover the materials we needed from that Raider cache, and Fahad has already started the repairs to the Leopard and Centurion. You've made him a very happy man, though I doubt he'll admit it. And while you were taking on the Raider, Spears contacted me. He has a plan in place to get us out of the current predicament. Head up to the bridge. Claim those sea bills, buddy. What's your plan, buddy? Hey, boss, mate. That was quite the haul you brought back. Gonna make the repairs. Gonna alert Prodigy. But don't know What's up, Hellman? Stars in your eyes or nothing. I'm overworked as it is, and this ship needs a lot of loving, eh? So your Centurion is still gonna take plenty of time to fix. But yeah, like I said, nice job out there. Your old man will be proud. Thank you. Now, if there's nothing else, gonna you get keep back his name out of your mouth. Got work to do. Story of my life. You keep his name out of your mouth. Start repairs on that puppy. This thing still needs 36 days. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it took the arm right off of that thing. I'm surprised it only takes 10 days to, to completely... Well, I guess they do have, like... Pew, pew. Like Star Wars robots fixing it up. They have Star Wars robots, you know, working on it, so... I guess it's quicker. Good work with those raiders, Commander. While you were planet side, I got word from Spears about the plan he's put in place for us. Take a listen. Rihanna, Commander. Good news. Hey. I think I can get you safely past the blockade with the aid of a local mining company. What's going on? To make everything work, I'm gonna have to find you guys a recycled mercenary identification number. That's definitely identity, Jensen. Essentially. That has to be. Nick's Cavaliers, for all intents and purposes, no longer exists. I'll match that number to a new name of your choosing once the time comes. So, think about what you want to call yourselves. While I arrange that, you're gonna have to do a little work for the mining company in exchange for their cooperation. Demon X Machina? Things go well. They've agreed to hire you to transport some precious cargo out of the system, aboard an inbound jump ship. Using the new mercenary ID and with a legitimate contract yeah, in easy, hand, dude. you should have no problem slipping through the blockade. I've attached the particulars to this message. I'll be in touch once you've completed the mission. Good luck. 
I already reviewed the information Spears sent. The mission is a straight-up protect and defend op. Seems these raiders have been harassing the mining company, among others. Stealing from them, extorting them, killing innocent civilians when their demands weren't met. Yeah. I've uploaded the pertinent details into the mission briefing, so I won't repeat them here. You're good to launch any time, Commander. Am I though? Roger that. I'll see you on the other side. My 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 mech's gonna take ten days. I don't think I'm good to launch any time. <clears throat> Prefer be prepared for whatever comes next. We got an imminent threat happening here. Savage shares. Just go crazy, go crazy with the cheese whiz. Okay. The mining company settlement is vulnerable to radio attacks, so you've got to protect it. Oh, good. A protection one. Once on the ground, head there and defend it. Should be simple in and outs. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've got to, we've got to, we got to wait. we got to wait for that one. Javelin mission start 10 days. Got it. Boom, boom, no, new, new. She's good to go. <clears throat> I'm almost unknown, yeah. At level at level one, you become unknown. Before that, you don't even know who you're you are. You don't even know who you are. You you get to know yourself and then other people can get to know you. It's a process. And we just have to wait the 10 days. Hey, get inside your big robot suit. Do the thing. Attention. Prepare for battle -like departure. This is co-op. You can play four-player co-op. It's true. <clears throat> Cameron grows almost unknown. Online. Okay, Commander. We know very little about these raiders' overall strength or sheer numbers. Sure. So keep a sharp lookout for enemy units on your approach to that settlement. Got you. Copy that. Copy that. Watch the rocks now. <laughs> Yeah, I watched that uh, that that Brad Pitt movie last night, that Ad Astra or whatever, where he goes to uh, goes to, like Neptune. There's the settlement up ahead, Commander. It's got like a Looks super like super old Tommy Lee Jones in it. <laughs> Get in there and protect those civilians. On my way. Please it wasn't too bad. Us. The raiders are attacking our settlement. There are women and children here. Oh, brag about it. Something's interfering with my sensors. I think the raiders have set up some sort of jamming device the nearby. I'll this is when I accidentally just it. step on all the buildings. Hey! Pretty, pretty, uh, small range on these lasers, I think, is what's going on. Target acquired. Target acquired. No space for old Jones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I watched? You know what I watched, like, not too long ago, though? I watched, uh, what's that, uh, Clint Eastwood movie? What's well, Space Cowboys? That movie kind of sucks. <laughs> that's, <laughs> like, that's like the, that's, I love space movies and I love Clint Eastwood movies. But man, that movie sucks. It's like so stupid. Sorry. I think I just stepped on their women and children. I think I just, met, I may have stepped on some of your women and children. My bad. Not today, butthole. Dick -a -dee -dee -dee. <clears throat> it was pretty lame. It was. It was like, I think, I think their, their target audience was like, Males, uh, seventy to eighty-five Target or something. Destroyed. It was really—it just was so weird. 
It's like a weird. It's like a weird demographic to be targeting for for a, a Hollywood movie. Target destroyed. Target destroyed, dude. Dude, that would that would pretty much suck to see like one of these chasing after your tank. For it! Nice work. These civilians are safe at the moment. Unfortunately, from the producers of Wild Hogs. Causing trouble just yet. Yeah, I couldn't sleep last night, so I turned on my TV in my in, in my bedroom, and uh, it was like, "This Friday, don't miss our premiere presentation of Christmas with the Cranks." And I just shut the TV off right away. It wasn't on yet. It was coming. It was going to be on on Friday, but I just couldn't even watch the. I couldn't even watch TV anymore. I couldn't even. I couldn't. I couldn't even change a channel. I had no strength left in my body. It's like. Ugh. <laughs> Play it safe. The jamming Christmas the with the cranks. The top of this pass, Commander. You're going to have to manage as best you can until you're able to take it out. I have to say, I have to save every ounce of strength so that I have enough strength to watch Christmas with the cranks. Yes. <laughs> uh, yo. Skidoink. Eliminated. Your sensors should have cleared up. Yeah, much better. Much better, that's pretty Your good. Should also be operational now. You'll be able to detect enemies at a significant distance. Just in time, too. That mining facility is getting hit hard, Commander. Is it really? Okay. It's getting hit hard. What's with the floppy UI? It was a jammer. It was a jammer, dude. It was, I was getting jammed hard. Yeah, that was like the whole, that was like the whole mission there was to like, kill the jamming thing, destroy the jamming tower. It was jamming me up, getting jammed up. It was raspberry. Jammed. Getting floppy jammed. Oh my guard. Hey, pipe down! We're supposed to be guards. There's the facility. Destroy those radar units. Radar units. Okay, you Roger got that. it. You made it. We need your help. The raiders are trying to destroy our facility. It's all we have. Sounds like David Ketchner. I mean, I like to smear some barbecue sauce. Oh, don't touch those. Careful. That, exp that blew that up. My bad. Commander, the mining facility can't take much more I'm like a night wolf. You need to eliminate the red threat. Is that what I have to do? That's weird because that's the whole reason I came here. Thanks. Appreciate that. Stop stepping on stuff. Hey. Hey, you mother! Just crunching on fools. I think that might be hurting me, too. Actually stepping on them. Is not a good idea. Should I not be doing that? Is that dude still kicking wing or what? Oh, he's over here. Don't step on the things, dude. Those are those are not your things. That's where the women and children are. Those tubes? Those are women and children tubes. Where'd he go? 
Oh, he's over here. Enemy VTOLs inbound on your position, Commander. It'd be very large, too. <laughs> if you were to put the universe in it, too. It did sound like him, didn't it? David Kessner? I'm like a night wolf. Oh, too close, man. You're too close, man. Step back. Too far up. Oh, wicked googly. So don't land on any of the buildings or anything, dude. When you die. You know. Bad news. Target acquired. Too far away from that dude. Target destroyed. Target. Sorry. My truck. That should make the mining company happy. Mm -hmm. Prepare for exfil. I'm on my way. <clears throat> You're unknown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, uh, do you know who I am? No. All right. <laughs> Things are happening for me. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I don't know who you are. <laughs> yes. It's happening. <laughs> Ooh, a uh, long range missile 10 worth 100 grandolas. Oh, my dear Lord. Well, we did pick up one of those before. LRM. It's always a good idea to like go for like a wide range of things. Uh, we have a couple of LRMs already. I'm thinking maybe a couple of machine guns. Maybe a couple of machine guns so that, so that like we just at least have them. Because we already have LRMs. We've got medium lasers. We've got some auto cannons as well. Yeah, Ghost Dad, I've already played through a couple of the first missions. You can't really you can't really throw on new weapons or anything yet. You have to have new mechs and stuff to be able to do stuff. These are pretty basic. These are these are basic bitch mechs right here. All right, outstanding job. There's a lot of people down there. Oh, you're there alive tonight, Commander. As for what happens now, Spears has been in touch. It seems we have one more mission to execute before Mining Company will sign off on the transport contract. That is one. That is one different thing. Um, uh, so far. Uh, from from BattleTech, the only I keep you know referencing BattleTech because it's the only other like mech game I've played. When you're equipping things, it 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 the slot has to be correct as well. You can't just like take off two medium lasers and put a double slot uh, laser weapon in there like a PPC or whatever. It has to be like two lasers. It can't be just like you can't take away two lasers and put a PPC in. You have to have a mech built to to, um, to, to like use a PPC. <clears throat> AC twenty cent dreams are dead. Yeah, a greens. I think, but who knows? Maybe later. Maybe later we'll unlock these big bigger mechs that are able to. You're able to do more, customize more. But with, with these like minimal mechs, you are only able to equip what they're what they're allowed to equip uh, essentially. How's long dark? It, uh, it, it quack. We we survived. We we survived two days. We that was our that was our record for the hardest difficulty, man. Two days. That is hard stuff. Commander, smoke a PCP. It turns out the bastards who attacked us and who have set up the blockade are a mercenary outfit by the name of Black Inferno. Unfortunately, that's about all we know at the moment. Spears and I will try to dig up more information if we can. The time will come when we can extract some proper vengeance. 
but right now we have more pressing concerns. Inferno forces are closing in on our location. That means we only have a small window in which to fulfill our obligations to the mining company and haul ass out of here. Got it. The company wants us to take down the raiders for good by destroying their base of operations. Once that's done, they'll arrange passage for us aboard the inbound jump ship. <coughs> I've detailed the mission briefing and it's waiting for your sign off. You're free to launch whenever you're ready, Commander. Mm, that's Roger right. That. I forgot I need to um need to repair. We need to repair this guy here. You're in a conflict zone. Repairing, refitting mechs is more expensive. So if we go into here and we do edit loadout, right? <clears throat> I don't think I really have anything. It, it, it basically, inventory, it says valid only. So if you unclick this thing, you'll see like LRMs and stuff. Um, if I had like, if I had like a, uh, a PPC or, or, or whatever, like a big laser, it would it would show up here and I could take off these two but I won't I won't be able to just like throw one in there uh, I have to use I have to use these these are these are the these are the ones I have to use. <clears throat> what was the mech game that was multiplayer are you talking about like uh, what like armor core or me uh, mech warrior online yeah happy unicorn taint bow farts well it is now I don't think I have named my, um... Oh, look at that. Okay. Start repairs on that guy. So this guy's all, this guy's all done. Oh, no. Yes, he is. He's done. We gotta go, we gotta go with, um... We're doing all, we're doing all bubblegum run. It's an all bubblegum run, dude. Dude. Bubblegum run. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hawken. Oh, okay. So here we go. Here's the AC-10 there. So we could put this guy in there. We're gonna be under. We're gonna be under tonnage though. I think this AC-10 is tier. It's tier one anyway. Tier one, tier one. So right now we have just like we haven't really gotten anything that's like super, super badass yet. We'll just go with that. <clears throat> the hawk of the walk, baby. Okay. Take down. Decades ago, this planet was the epicenter of my of a mining gold rush. Of course, it wasn't gold the miners were after, but rhodium. It was. It was boom, then bust for most of the companies, which means there was a lot of abandoned infrastructure left behind. One of these mining locations is where the raiders are currently holed up. You can expect a larger enemy presence than we saw at the power plant, Commander. You'll need to eliminate all of them and destroy as much infrastructure as possible. Can do. Want to put these raiders out of business for goodsies. Okay. Centurion's ready. Talk to you later. That means I could probably use... What's the tonnage on this one? 50? Three negotiation points. How about 455,000 C bills? I think no damn damage coverage. Mm hmm. It's looking scary out there, dude. Weird. Okay. It changed. Very good. <coughs> do, 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 do. You want a mech game where you're the maintenance guy. The whole game is fixing broken mechs. Crazel, that sounds awesome, actually. That does sound pretty good. Those games are huge nowadays. That sounds pretty badass, man. Okay. Point tonnage, 50 out of 50. Attention. Prepare for battle mech departure. Warning. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. Reactor online. Sensors online. 
Soft serve ice cream machine online. These raiders we're taking down are murderers and thieves, Commander. Don't show them any mercy. Mess with the bull, you get the horse. Whoa, yeah, that's right. I got my auto cannon here. That's it. Exactly. Destroyed. I got Destroyed. enemy contacts up ahead, Commander. They must have detected us on the way in. And then you gotta pilot the mech. Ooh, the true the underdog story. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I got that. I got that uh, cotton candy camouflage on. Sir, it looks like a giant piece of chewed bubble gum is headed our way. No, wait, that's cotton candy. Wait, it's a robot. Well. What? See you later. These are men with families. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there he goes. Yes. I'm getting all banged up already. <laughs> Badge being a tank guy in this universe? No way, dude. Stupid tank guys. Yeah. Johnson, you're on tank division. Say goodbye to your family. You have a few hours. Make Eagle your peace with God. Commander. Keep an eye out above you. Yes, sir! How are you, YouTube? What's up, man? He's squashed by a giant piece of bubble gum. Oh, that's a direct hit, baby. Whiff up. Yipes. There's the raider base. Eliminates all enemies and raise it to the ground, Commander. I'm doing my best here, okay? Hey. The smoke. Oh shit, I na I nailed him with that auto cannon, dude. Smarsh. Oh yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go stand. Thanks for the host, man. Sorry. This was the elementary school. This was the Raider Elementary School over here. It's portables. Not the younglings. 
Not the raider younglings. They had so much raiding left to do. Target acquired. Target. Zone. Thanks. Roger that. Oh, whiffa. B D D D. I'm bad at. Do 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 do. Roger that. Look at my scary claw hand. the hell? Oh, with that auto cannon shot, dude. Oof. Can you kick punch in this game? I don't think you can do any, uh, any melee, at least not yet. Not with these guys. I would assume with like King Crab Max, maybe you could do some like melee in or something. I want to give myself a big old King Crab, dude. I'm picking up additional enemy units headed your way, Commander. Perfect. Watch out. You watch out. Looks like these raiders somehow got their hands on a spider mech. It's fast, but lightly armored. Avoid letting it get behind you. A spider mech, huh? Copy that. Hey, copy that. What do you say, bud? Get. Don't gotcha. There he is. There's that piece of shit. Where'd he go? Lock on to him, dude. Oh my gosh. I gotta kill these guys first. Oh, he's taking my arms. He's taking my arms! Getting behind me. All right, I got him. My legs. My leg. He has a high ground. Nicely done, Commander. Get to the extraction point, and I'll pick you up. Well, I'm make, I'm, I'm trying. Oh my God, this tank is gonna blast me to pieces. Oh, I'm getting knocked down. Oh, it's just idle. What's up, dudes? Dude, those tanks were just at the wrong time, man. I can't wait till I get like a karate bot. I'm gonna get myself a, the sweetest karate bot. <clears throat> this mech got screwed up, dudes. Well, they're sending one guy. They're sending one guy to take on all these bros. And like the 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 mechanic guy's like, you're always busting up my mechs. It's like, well, you send one guy out there. I don't know.
forces? I don't. I don't know. We we just started the game like an hour ago. We don't have. We don't yet have an army. I I have gotten up to the rank of unknown. So there's people out there that don't know me. So we're almost there to having an army of our own. <clears throat> Okay, so SRM, medium lasers, machine gun, machine gun. What's up, LS? How you doing, man? Jump jets. You saw Mech Warrior 5, you wanted to see it. You love me some mech on mech action? Oh, yeah, baby. SRM 6. We'll grab that. Short range missile six. Sure. Medium laser. Two. Twelve. And short range missile two. Machine guns. And I guess we can get another one of these guys just because. So we have two more we can pick as well. I guess multiple LRMs. If we're going to be getting like a whole squad of dudes, we're going to probably need some more of these. Some long range missiles. 119,000. For damages, dude. That spider mech might be small, but it's also fast. Excellent work taking it out. Thanks to you, the Raider forces have been all but eliminated and their infrastructure destroyed. Best of all, I just heard back from Spears. The mining company couldn't be happier with our efforts and have expedited the transport contract aboard the inbound jump ship. We're about to be given a second life, Commander. Commander. Okay. You played Mech Warrior 2 as a kid. It was awesome, Freddy. Hey there, Gov. Oh, yeah, we finally got a name for these bastards who've been chasing us down. Right. Black bloody inferno, eh? Well, that's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? You know what a black inferno is? It's bloody smoke, mate. Hmm. All right then. Nice chat. Gonna get back to work now. Yeah, okay. Do -do 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 Twenty-one days. All right, this guy's still being repaired. Let's get up there and see what's happening. <laughs> Hi, Commander. Hi. Thanks to your efforts, the mining company have kept their word and booked us transport on a jump ship. Spears has also obtained a new mercenary ID number. So, all we need to do now is choose a new name for our merc outfits, and we're good to go. I'll leave that up to you. Once you've registered the new name, come back and see me. Will do. Will do. Head to your office and establish the mercenary company. Oh my goodness, my mercenary company. Name your wait, so I this is this is the uh this is I'm like a ho I'm like a horse? I'm like a horse with a sword in it. Okay. Hmm. Poke back of the, uh, let's see. Oh my god. The Bubblegum Valley Girls is not, is just to, I guess we just do Bubblegum Valley Girls. Whoa. <clears throat> I guess we can't change our logo. We're just we're just horse. Or we could do um, what's a menacing name? Yeah. <laughs> that could be good. I mean, it just, it makes sense though. It makes sense because that's our, that's our logo. We're the triangle horse face guys. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think that's a sword. I think that's just its hair. See how like fr it frills at the top? I think that's just a, a gross looking horse. <laughs> just like two horses. <laughs> uh, I think that should be good. Triangle horse face, guys. There you go. Because that's, that's what we had to choose from, I guess. Okay, speak to Rihanna. Let's do it. Here comes the triangle horse face, guys! How can you tell? It, they're a freaking emblem, dude. Look at it. Oh my god, you're right. I heard these guys are unknown. Nobody really knows them. So I'm not sure if they're good or... It leaves more to the imagination, really. Okay, Commander. Everything is set for our departure. The transport contract with the mining company is a false flag Spears and I set up with their cooperation. The mining company has legally hired us to transport cargo for them. But in reality, there is no cargo. Just a destination and some very convincing paperwork. Oh, so, where are we headed? We've been asked by Spears to help him out of a jam. I think we owe him. I agree. What's he need us to do? Spears works for Interstellar Expeditions. Almost unfamiliar. One of the largest archaeological collectors like, in the inner sphere. They do archaeological do I know you? digs and conduct research you might. into abandoned Star League no. era facilities. No, I don't think I do. In the pursuit of lost technology yes. from before the succession wars. Close. One of the expedition's dig sites has come under attack. <laughs> a rogue mercenary group is intent on pillaging a Star League supply depot that IE uncovered on Brooklyn Prime. We're going in to help protect the site. Spears will provide more detailed information on what exactly we're facing once we arrive. For now, I've uploaded the coordinates into the nav system. Before we can launch, you need to sign off on the op and get us to the system. Roger that. Are those just are those her breasts or are are those just like compartments for snacks? Either it would be great. Last man standing. Yes and yes. Situation is dire, Commander. The Merc outfit Spears hired to protect the dig site has taken heavy losses and can't hold much out much longer. Need to get down to the surface and reinforce them before the last of their defenses crumble. Unfortunately, I have no idea what you're going to drop into, so you may be coming in hot. Okay. Once on the ground, the objective is simple. Stave off the enemy attacks until additional reinforcements arrive. We're counting on you, Commander. Hold the door. I'll accept that. I'll accept that mission. Travel. Arrive at... Oh. Okay. Boom, boom, no, no, no. Guess we're traveling. <laughs> Taking point against the Black Inferno. <laughs> You were always coming in hot. Lieutenant Dan, you dog. <laughs> Sir Cat. You bastard. That's not supposed to happen. A lot of space stuff going on. Snap, snap, green, green. Say no more. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Difficulty is five. Last man standing. Potential is 200 grand. Tonnage limit is 50. Okay, hold on a second. Well, then we should probably have our big boy, huh? Should probably have our big guy. Look at all this. Temperate coniferous uh, forest. Okay. Duration is seven. I'll be out there for seven damn days. Well, I hope I got some booby snacks. The objective is simple. Hold off the enemy forces and secure the site until additional reinforcements arrive. Wait, is that Spears? He didn't ask for that. This game have all the classic clans and houses in it? I think it does. I think it do. Oh, 
I'll accept it. Fifty tonnages. Okay, so if we if we were under tonnage. Oh, right. So we haven't gotten our dudes yet. If we were under tonnage, we'd be able to add in these dudes. All right, to maximum tonnage. Well, these guys have nothing to do. Look at these workers down here. They got nothing going on. Who will win? Who will win indeed? It's already, it's, it's starting to get a, a bit more difficult. It's much, obviously it's much easier to, to maneuver like the lighter mechs, <clears throat> which I do enjoy very much, but getting just super smashed up. That's kind of brutal. Let's go. It's perfect camo, yeah. I just think I'm just like a giant piece of chewed bubble gum stuck underneath the chair. I feel like I should know what all these online. buttons do. What? Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems. Here we go, Commander. Let's see what we've gotten ourselves into. Ourselves? You mean I'm me? I'm picking up one friendly, just ahead of your current position. Unidentified enemy units engaging. Sweet. We got Copy friendlies, that. dude. Copy that. Copy that. Mason. Womack. Chop that tree down. I'm with you, buddy. I got your back, bro. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. <clears throat> Sorry, dude. Sorry about that. That's my B. That's gonna be. That's on me. That's on me, Buster. Whoa! I'm getting crushed. Good work. Proceed to the dig site. Ow! Looks like the hostiles have launched another attack wave. I need a health potion. Roger that. On the move. I'm on the move, dude. My arm is all blasted. Another friendly under attack, Commander. Straight ahead. You made it. Thank God. Is that Lieutenant and Leon Freeman? I can use the help. <laughs> Freeman, you son of a gun. I'm glad you made it, buddy. Don't step on the dig site stuff. That is not your dig site. Power generator. Turrets are now online and active, Commander. Oh, what? That's cool. I didn't know I could do that. Mr. Freeman. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Dude, I'd nail him with that auto cannon. Brash. He's got auto cannons. Wait for me, dude. Wait up, bro. Is he still alive? No, he's dead. He did. Hi. What are you in? Rip and tear, baby. Die, forest! Did 
I could just knock down trees all damn day. <clears throat> I'm gonna blow up this forest. <laughs> Target neutralized. Forest neutralized. Where are these dudes? They were up here just a second ago. There he is. Do 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 do. Dude, I'm doing I'm not doing too bad with this cannon, man. I used to play a lot of Battlefield 4 when it came out. And I used to always, always get into the tanks. I love shooting down choppers, shooting down little birds. It's a hell with the of tank. You're clearing these bastards out with some help, Commander. Spears send you? Yeah, said you guys needed some reinforcements. Hey. That's an understatement. My entire lance was wiped out. They came down on us like a ton of bricks. Out of nowhere, wave after wave, been holding them off as best I can. But <coughs> I think our mech should mate. I don't think I could have held out much longer. I feel like I'm the top. Well, we're here now, and we've got your back. I appreciate that. Seriously, can't tell you how good it is to see some friendly faces. Sure. We still need to protect this site. Copy that, but they'll be coming back soon enough. Mm. Like I said, they attack in waves, and they haven't shown any signs of letting up. They mostly come at night, mostly. Cool. Oh. Don't shove, dude. Do not shove me. Check the max, the, the max snacks uh, compartment, dude. Hostile contact. This mech Inbound. holds a ton of snacks. Looks like a mix of airborne and enemy armor, commander. I think I've got some uh, 3D limited edition 3D Doritos from uh, from 2001 in, in 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 the boot here. Yeah. The puffy ones, dude, yeah. They just taste, they did not taste like uh, Doritos. It tasted strange. Oh ho! Auto canyoned. Oh, the cannon, bro! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh. Target acquired. Target acquired my ass. What was that about? Target destroyed. I'm like not even protecting this place. Oh, craps. Yeah, those, those 3D Doritos were terrible, dude. They're awful. Oh, man. Those auto cannon shots. They feel, they feel pretty good. <laughs> nice shooting. There's a repair bay we can use. Hi. First, you need to cycle on the second turret generator. Second turret okay, generator? Multiple hostiles converging on your location, Commander. I'm picking up 10, 12 bogies this time. Do I have a boogie? I told you, these guys never quit. Oh, activate the West Turret Generator and Repair Bay. Here we go. Dunk, 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 Careful. <laughs> what, dude? 
Oh. Oh, that was so good. Oh. Go get the thing. Just get the thing. You, 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 other random guy, take point. Take point. I love that stuff, dude. So where is this uh, magical repair repair bay? Oh yes. Oh baby. For three. Oh. <laughs> Not today, Buster. It's a big box in the middle. I don't even need that shit. Maybe I do need that shit. That was badass. Four lone wolf or. Mech Warrior Online. Uh, grain by grain. This is the, really the only thing I've, uh, the only Mech Warrior game I've played. So I don't really know too much about it. Target acquired. Target, Target destroyed. Target acquired. Nailing him, dude. All right, big bro boxy bro in the middle. Use the repair bay. Optional. Here we go. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fun, dude. Pretty fun, man. Don't step on all the things. Careful now. Where's my friend at? System offline. Man, they should just really get one of these uh, at the at the base instead of like you know having a mechanic. Oh, shit. <laughs> Taking these long-range shots, man. Feels good. All right, we should probably defend the base. <clears throat> uh, I have, I've got uh, just, no, not long-range lasers. I just have medium lasers, so pretty short range, but I do have an AC-10. Got the AC-10, dude. Still at the very beginning, so we haven't like really cracked into some of the some of the more serious uh, artillery. Enemy dropship approaching, Commander. Looks like they're bringing in the heavy guns. Are they? Son of a bee. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Did Let's you just make that up, Mason? You son of a gun. You are quite a wordsmith. You are quite a wordsmith, dude. missiles do it there we go uh oh stay on target Stuck on a thing. I can't move. Oh god. Just 
Straight now, buddy. Get him in his face. My heat is so critical. I'm just gonna stick around. Oh, the emergency shutdown. Start her back up. Start her back up, buddy. Don't let him hit you in the face. Oh, man. It just released today. Yeah, yeah. That's. I'm hitting him in the center torso. I am doing that. Wow, I don't know how I uh, how how do I cool off? I gotta cool off somehow. I need to find some some water. Target acquired. That's the last of them, Commander. Hell of a job. Spears will be impressed, as he should be. A new Merc outfit is already on his way to secure the site. Hang tight for now. I'm coming to pick you up. Should be able to turn on an override to keep yourself online, but watch out, you'll burn your internal structure in frying seconds. Oh. The rescue. Things were getting pretty grim before you showed up. I lost some good friends today. Good pilots. I don't think I could have held out much longer myself. Brag about it, dude. It. I appreciate it. Brag about it. We were able to help. Just wish we'd gotten here sooner. Me too. You know, we could always use another pilot. One with your skills, he'd come in awful handy. What do you think? After today? Hell, it'd be an honor to serve with you, Commander. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Freeman! And consider it done. You're on the team, Welcome buddy. Aboard. You're on the team, buddy. Yeah, my dude, they had, they had that in uh, Battletech, I believe, as well. Takes place in the year 3015. Unfamiliar. People kind of know you, or at least they pretend that they do. Your reputation across the inner sphere is growing. Potential employers are inquiring about your services. New employment opportunities have been, become available on the store map. <laughs> Got the Jenner. Got the Bruce Jenner. Give me your launch money. <laughs> oh, lunch money. I thought he said launch money. I thought that was a lot funnier. I don't know why. <laughs> it leaves you very vulnerable. Well, we barely made it out of there. That's for sure. Jump Jets Class 4. SRM 2. Medium laser beams. Another medium laser. I grabbed a couple of long-range missiles before. We did a couple of machine guns already. Let's grab another auto canopy. Oh, F. Oh, welcome back. Rubear. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Freeman, we're going to get you in this tank, buddy. <laughs> Thank you so very, very much, Rubear, for the 44 months. Welcome back. It's so great to see you. What's happening? Okay. How about two of those guys? Another medium laser. So we're really not too damaged. So what we need to do is we need to save up our money. Save up our, our C bills so we can purchase one of those instant repair things that we used. And then we just don't have, ever have to wait. Now that's, the, that's what we got to do, man. I was some fight commander. And I see you almost managed to pick a pick. A, you also managed to pick us up a new pilot. Nice work. Having another pilot aboard will certainly help our cause. He's a bit, he's a, he's a bit worse for wear at the moment, but that's not surprising, especially considering what he's been through. Don't worry, though. I'll make sure he gets settled in. As for the dig site, it's been secured, and the newly arrived reinforcement should ins ensure its continued protection. When you've had a chance to clean up, come see me on the bridge. To the to the to, to the bridge. Hmm. (laughs) 
That's our Bruce Jenner right there. Bruce Jenner, you son of a gun. It's all, it's all crunched up. Okay. Well, you've got SRM, short range missile four. <clears throat> Let's edit this loadout, dude. Short range missile four. Right. Short range missile six is gonna take. It's gonna take two spots. So we can't really put anything on there. Haven't really been able to put like stuff on there yet. Sure we will. Sure we will eventually. <laughs> A mechanic in this game after the mission. I would just, I would just tow that that uh, that mech back to that place we were just at and just throw him in that instant instant repair thing and take all the credit. Hi, Commander. Excellent work protecting that dig site. Spears thinks you did a hell of a job. A chip off the old block. We're here to names. What's up? Referring to your father, of course. That's quite the compliment coming from him. Wait, the block is As my you father? Know, your father and oh, yeah. Spears did a lot of work together over the years. Proved quite lucrative, too. For both of them. Hopefully, we can continue that relationship. Let's hope so. But we need more than one client if we're going to survive out here. That's what I wanted to talk with you about. Our next move. We're operating with a clean slate now, thanks mm. to the new mercenary ID number Spears provided. Sure. A whole new name, new outfit. Now we need to get to the work dick building our capabilities and establishing our reputation. Won't be easy, but nothing worth doing ever is. You up for it? What do you think? I think we better get started then. Plenty of war zones in the inner sphere where we can pick up work. A few safe harbors as well. Places we can hire more pilots, get our hands on cheap supplies. First, we need to earn some sea bills to pay for it all. Other than that, I see a bright future ahead of us, Commander. Me too. Speaking of the future, we have a pending transmission from IE already. Seems Spears has put the word out to his colleagues that we can be trusted to get the job done. Before diving right in, I recommend we head to one of the industrial hubs. Just had a normal region. poop? Pockets of relative Congrats, stability dude. where we can acquire new equipment and mechs, hire new pilots. We have more mechs than mech warriors at the moment, so it would be good to expand the ranks. Repairs are cheaper in these regions too. Either way, I've marked the location of the IE contract on the star map. It's there whenever you're ready. Roger that. Thanks, Rihanna. Yeah, you're welcome, that. Commander. For Mac. Take the contract and go, buddy. Whoa, four player cooperative play is now available for this campaign. A co op session must be initiated by choosing co op from the title screen, loading a valid co op campaign save. You can then invite friends to your co op campaign through the social menu. Are you talking to me or are you talking to Mason? I feel like you're talking to me. Friends invited to your campaign will be able to contribute to the advancement of the mercenary campaign by joining you on missions. Note that co-op players do not bring their own battle mechs, mech warriors, or resources into your campaign. They will instead adopt the persona of one of your available mech warriors and pilot one of your available battle mechs. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, that's good to know. But there is a there is like like a get into the action mode. There's a get into the action mode. I think that that you'll you're able to like. Use your own, I think. <clears throat> they can still join you on missions as spectators to watch the action. <laughs> okay. Cool! <clears throat> hey, cool! Who would watch somebody play a video game? What? <laughs> Armed robbery. Okay. The local systems are in shambles. Many mercenary outfits are packing up and running, while others are looking to ransack vacant merc bases. With only a few battle mechs to your name, it seems you'll be in need of some more hardware and supplies if you want to stay in this game. My clients need supplies too. And if you get your hands on some, I'll give you a healthy cut of the resale value. This guy looks pretty sad. That should help you get back on your feet after, well, after everything we've gone through around here. You know what I'm talking about? If you're game, I've got intel on a system where an independent company from Harlock's Warrior is trying to get out of the system for good. We are the horse face guys. We're up for it. If you're not afraid to shoot at other mechs, you should be able to chase them off and acquire some of their supplies. 
The surefire way to chase them off with minimal fuss is to shoot down the mech of Anders William, Wilman, Wilman, Smithston, their head of security, and then the rest of the outfit should, should scatter. Wilman's not well liked, to say the least, so you'd essentially be doing the warriors a favor. And with the occupants on their way out anyway, they shouldn't put up that much of a fight to protect someone they'd rather be rid of. After chasing off the warriors, I'll send in my crews to pay for anything that's on my list of, uh, of necessaries. Okay. 78,125 sea bills. That's very specific. Boing, boing. So hold on. Whoa. Whoa. <clears throat> you can navigate the star map by using the mouse. To pan across the star map, hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse. To zoom in and out of the star map, use the mouse wheel. Holy Lord. Look at those systems. You can travel to a system, click on it, and, co and the course will be plotted. You will be shown the travel cost in both sea bills and time. Okay. When plotting a course, you are limited to a maximum of 10 jumps at once. Though once you arrive at your destination, you are free to plot another course of up to 10 jumps. Conflict zones are the only areas where you'll be able to find mission contracts. Available contracts are shown as icons above the names of the systems within the conflict zone. Industrial hubs have the best stocked markets in their systems. The mechs for sale within are typically in better state of repair, and the weapons are of higher tier than in conflict zones. Assassin. Locust. Whoa. Repairs and modifications to mechs and equipment can be initiated within an industrial hub and are not subject to any additional charges or durations. Systems within industrial hubs are the only places where you can hire additional pilots. They can be found in the hiring hall within the barracks. And they all have pretty neat hats. Look at those cool hats. I'd like to find somebody with the coolest hat. Travel cost is 50 grand. Mm-hmm. It's our tracked objective. Dun, 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 Look at this. Whoa, dude. Yipers. That is absolutely bananas. There's some stuff, like, out of the, out of the systems, out of the, uh, <clears throat> the five factions here. And his absolute nanners. Pangea! <clears throat> I'm recognized there. Scouting report. The MRB rarity indicates the likelihood of encountering hostile units here when in combat with a faction. Very common. Blackjack, mercenaries, assassin dudes, spider. Mm -hmm. Set a course. Hey! Bling, 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 bling. A bling, bling. Difficulty seven. Look at that payout, dude. Tonnage limit is 135. Mm-hmm. It's 135, dude. Okay. So, <clears throat> we want to take our big boy, huh? Let's go ahead and just wait, I guess. For our big boy to be finished. Hmm. How they travel in this game is just really good thrusters energy. It's like a, uh, it's like the teleport thing. <clears throat> they like stick onto the, like a, the, the side of like a bigger ship or something and like. <clears throat> marauders, both inner sphere marauders in, in clanners. I do like I do like the the king crabs, dude. Those things are cool as hell. 
I can't remember which ones were my favorite in Battletech. It's been a while since I played. Freeman, you're in, dude. Get in there. You, uh... You little scamp. Holy Toledo. Okay, well... 85 out of 135. I wonder somewhere we're not even we're not even like tipping the scales here. Crab's pretty crazy, yeah. I guess we'll just try it out. I guess we'll just give this a, give this a go, huh? Eighty-five of one thirty-five. Hmm. Do you get more money for being under tonnage? I don't know if you do or not, dude. I don't know. I am wickedly okay, under tonnage, though. The only thing standing between us and this company's supplies is their leader, Anders Wilman. Take him out, and we'll be able to get our salvage crews planet side. Wilman's forces have mostly fled the area, but you should still expect some resistance. Online. Oh, no. All systems nominal. We've got another Hoth planet here. Come on, Freeman. Don't screw this up, buddy. Oh, we got orders too. Form on me. Following the commander. Follow me, dude. I gotta say that. <laughs> we got a we got a Hoth planet. Another one. I got I got my bubble gum back, yeah. We are the triangle horse face guys. We always got sweet paint jobs. Scrunch. Would you get? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We got bogeys. Tango sucker, tango. Yeah. Tango sucker. Don't get cocky, dude. Where are you going, bro? Where's he off to? Sir. Right behind you, Commander. Form on me. <clears throat> you know if you be able to uh, pilot Clan okay. Max or is there a separate campaign from this one? I really don't know, man. All I know is that you get you choose your own clan. You get your own clan going. Target acquired. And then you you uh, you eventually just like start picking up more people. It's a lot like I don't know if you've ever played BattleTech. It's a lot like that, but just like actiony, you know. Is that our is that our target? What the heck? Ow. How you doing over there, Freeman? Wilman! I really don't know too much about it. I'm not so sure. He's getting crushed, though. <laughs> I got it. This poor bastard. You got him. Good, good, Freeman. He's done so. We'll be able to get ourselves some of his much needed resources. And hey, the inner sphere is a better place without him. 
Yo. Can I smash this guy? Can I just like step on him? No, I can't. Damn it. I have to fill my contract. Let's go. Did they could they completely just like skipped over the landing site over here? The wall. Dude's about to get crushed though. You got it, Freeman. We gotta go, buddy. Yeah, my dudes. I know. I love that. I love that part of uh, of BattleTech being like super precise. His legs. There we go. Get out of here, dude. These missiles are messing you up, bro. All oh, these missiles. Sorry, Freeman. What's up, Grim Sage? Sorry, Freeman. I'm out of here, bro. Sorry, buddy. I know. I know. I know. You just joined the team, and now you're dead. I'm really getting hammered here. Really getting hammered. Mm -hmm. He ejected, right? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't look back. I didn't look twice. You know what? I don't think we got any small lasers. Small lasers might be kind of cool. These are LRM-10s. Oh, because they're tier, they're tier 1s there. Okay. Maybe we'll grab one of these because they're tier 1. That's fine. <laughs> Status? Dead. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> well, at least we got to keep his, his mech. We went back and picked up his mech. <laughs> Poor Freeman. You took a risk, Commander, but it looks like it paid off in spades. Did it? Did it pay off? For both of us. What about Freeman? Your salvage crew has managed to dig up a pretty decent haul for me, including an operational mech chassis. Really? A locust. Oh, he's dead. But full disclosure... <laughs> I mean, I wasn't, like, super big on Freeman anyway. Like, he was kind of a douche. He was kind of a dick. All right, let's repair this guy up. I wasn't, like, a big Freeman fan. Yeah. I don't like the biggest Freeman fan. Javelin. I don't know when. I think this is just going to be like stuff for our, like our little buddies to use. Look at this teeny tiny little guy. He's just like the tiniest little teeny guy. Market. LRM. Oh my lordy. 5% off all purchases. Freeman was an a-hole, man. He was an a-hole. Uh, we're going to save this puppy up, dude. Save it up. Boom. And uh, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back, guys. Thank you for sticking around. Thanks for hanging out during this sponsored portion of the broadcast with some Mech Warrior 5. I'll be back in just a few minutes. I, I got to go to the bathroom so bad. Let me just put on some music here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Make sure you follow the channel if you haven't already. And make sure you follow the Twitter at Alaskan Savage TV. Do that as well. I will be right back. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. I just need to take a couple of minutes. I'll be there in a second.